impart upon your specimen. Uh, everything you work on, uh, they become either cute or ugly or something like that. Like this is a nice little bulldog face. Uh, a little pet you'd like to have running around the house until it grew up. Started wetting your carpets and then you'd kick it outside. <laughs> Little things in my head. <laughs> Until this discovery, armored dinosaurs were thought to be loners. They had never been found in a group before. No one had ever found a young one. In each of these dragons, there lie a hundred answers and a thousand questions. prepare to leave by Mandahu, they know that they have fulfilled their mandate. They have moved the science forward a giant step. Curry and his crew catch up with the other team members in the small Chinese town of Ehrenhaut. They are now in the fourth year of their work on the dinosaur project. They are no longer strangers. <laughs> <laughs> Very pleasant. Oh, no. And so, outside a railway station in northern China, two Canadian scientists catch up in a language all their own. Nothing complete. Everything is disarticulated on the distal end of the delta. We had an amiad fish vertebrae. Can you imagine in marine sediments full of scapanorhynchus type sharks and uh, lots of plesiosaur material? And we have two chimerid jaws. Then we have a sprinkling of dinosaur bones. These are the rocks where our history lies buried. These are the rocks where the mysteries remain. What secrets and adventures and dramas must lie here? What treasures are stored in time? These are the hunting grounds of the dinosaur, glimpsed briefly in the passing of humankind. These are the rocks of ages, long before ours. Yet it is upon these rocks that we will build our past. Who we are, and how we got here. Our own wondrous story. Upon these rocks, we will continue our never-ending saga, our quest for knowing, for understanding. Upon these rocks of the earth, we will continue our search for the dragon. Thank you.